Welcome to Infinity's Shaman Circle. I have created a sacred space dedicated to you, your body and soul, and our spirit tribe connections. Here, Soul Family Journeys Together. Hello, love. This is Infinity, and welcome to Infinity Shaman Circle podcast. I am Infinity, and today is episode number seven. We are going to get into the abundance body and what we need to know to work on the abundance body map for the Soul Quest program. This is the um, uh, sixth map of the program. We have two more to go, but this is the last of the bodies. Uh, so we had the physical body, the mental body, the emotional body, uh, the uh, physical, wait, <laughs> I just lost my train of thought there. So physical, uh, mental, emotional, no, spiritual, physical, mental, emotional, <laughs> then physical, then energetic, then abundant, holy moly. I keep wanting to I kept wanting to say physical when I was thinking spiritual. So we have the the body maps, and then the next map is my true identity. And then after that is connecting to my spirit name. So I'm super excited. We're heading towards the end of this maiden voyage of our Soul Quest program. And we've also made some changes to it and how it's going to go and flow. And you can check that out on the website as well. It's even better than we had originally designed it to be, um, making adjustments within the actual program for the program while we're in the program to make it better for everybody as we go through it, um, which means that we're not no longer doing live shows for the meetings. Um, that was set up with a whole other thing in the beginning. And we found that people were just not comfortable enough to really open up and talk about and share um, the really, really deep personal stuff when it was live on YouTube. So we've made them now private. So all of the meetings that we're going to have in the program, um, and they have been, they have been private. So they're private meetings. Um, the Soul Quest spirit walk uh uh spirit walks guided channeled meditations that were um at first kind of put on as an extra as an add-on soon became very very obvious that it was a mandatory to have it integrated absolutely to do it. you need that <laughs> when doing the program so that's all included as well as um going forward it's not just going to be people who do the the program it being kind of on your own because we're not live Every time anybody does this program, it's going to be live. Um, you're going to have live meetings with me, live private weekly meetings with me as you go through the program. Uh, and that's set up for the future. You're encouraged to redo the Soul Quest program that's included in when you, um, you buy it. Uh, so you can return, um, to do it again and again. There are caps to that and, and rules to that, but you are encouraged to do that, um, as many as twice a year with at least four months in between, um, having done it the last time. Cause it really, it's a map to get you going on what you need to work on. So it's not something to just, you know, flip around and do again and again. It's something to, to do settle into what you learned, make implement changes, do, you know, do whatever you're guided to do as far as um, healing and clearing and everything that comes up for you for the map. And then at a later time, when some growth has happened, some changes has ha have happened, when you get the guidance, like, okay, let's go back and reconnect with all our bodies and see where we're at now and just fine tune things so you're able to do that again and again. So, um, but all the details of that um, and those updates are on the website. I have yet to write an article or put out an email about it, um, but, the, but those are um, on the website itself. Uh, so before we had what was the scheduled maiden voyage of this program, which we're still in, we still have this, we have three more weeks left, including this one. And um 
And then it was a self-paced where you just come in, you review the, the videos that we did live and all of that. And then again, that was decided we're not doing that anymore. Whenever somebody takes this, you're going to be starting where you start. It's going to be a blend of people wherever they happen to be in the program, um, which is going to be very enriching. So that's going to be great. And I'm going to be offering it um, pretty much almost all the time. Um, there is going to be a bit of a hiatus between ending this maiden voyage and starting the new one when we're going to start that on a regular basis, probably a, about a month, maybe two months in between um, when the next one is going to start. But everybody will have notice as to exactly when that's happening. But again, it can be started at any time once we get going again. But anyhow, so those are the updates. If you've been watching this uh, this podcast and following these maps and, and all of that, and, and maybe the reason why you maybe decided, oh, I don't want to do that is because they, they were live shows. And the purpose of that was to, or live meetings, they were, the purpose of that was to just be really inclusive and let other people see what we were working on and, and to have that magnetize people to do this kind of work. But what we found was that people were just not feeling comfortable enough to really communicate and talk and ask questions and get into things because it was in that public environment. So once things closed up, then it, a lot of, a lot shifted, which was really great. So that is something to note. These are private weekly meetings that you get to discuss whatever map you're working on. So I'm really excited about that. Okay. So with that said, we are going to get into the business of the, uh, the abundance body. And this one is, uh, so special because it's really not something that is a thing that people even know about. Um, and I didn't even know about it when this whole program came into play. And it was like, we're going to work with the bodies. I've always been tuned into all the bodies except for this abundance body. And then that came through and I was like, whoa, what is this? And it was like, well, the abundance body is truly the magical essence of all of the culmination of all of our bodies put together, including the energetic body. While the energetic body um, is so powerful, uh, and that was very evident in what came out in the map, and the spirit walk was got to be one of my tippy top favorites of all time um, because of, of all that was connected through that. But even with that, um, the energetic body has to have that sort of that level of, of, um, clarity and connectivity and flow as well as all the other bodies for the abundant body to even be a thing with us. So it is a body that is essentially activated. It's more dormant within us and um it becomes activated as we begin to understand what it means to manifest what the law of attraction is what energy flow and positive energy and negative energy and how we attract energy and and work with energy and all of that which for the most part people don't and aren't aware of until they have a spiritual awakening and even then, it takes quite a long time to get into certain things and be able to clear and release and work with energy to feel what that's like and then drop a lot of fears, illusions, programmings, traumas, triggers, blocks, and all this sort of stuff to kind of get that shit out of your way so you can see that this business of the law of attraction of manifesting of um of your sheer power your sovereignty your will your your how powerful you are and with the energetic body we really got a look at and more um so much came through in the spirit walk 
um, really reminding us of how powerful we are energetically, how we're divine, how we're created from Mother, Father, God, and we have the power that they do and all of these wonderful things and, and a real remembrance, acknowledgement, recognition about those truths. It was extraordinarily powerful and everybody had a real, real reaction to it, um, including myself, big time, big, big time. It was, it was just, it was just absolutely beautiful. So anyhow, um, when it comes to the abundance body, it is really activated by all of the other bodies having a certain level of alignment and clarity and flow and, and he, having been healed to a certain level. When all of those pieces come are t- it, to a certain point and what that point is, I, I don't have an answer and it's not something that we can even measure anyway. It just is or it isn't. Once it does happen for you, it changes your perspective on this reality, on your power, on alchemy, on manifesting, on intentions. Um, It really changes that that fear quotient to faith. And because you've experienced more and more and more synchronicities, um, metaphysical, spiritual, uh, magical uh, events you've witnessed, you've been a part of, you've, you know, and the body begins to all the bodies begin to shift and activate the abundance body, the magical body, the body that's uh, that taps into truly the divine inner child when there isn't the other things standing in the way, when we can truly see this reality for what it is. And it is very dreamlike in the sense, like a lucid dream that our um, energy, focus, direction, perception, intention, all of that stuff really, truly creates a reality. And people are talking about this more and more just in everyday conversations and all sorts of different podcasts talking about, well, I manifested this, you know, if you want to manifest this, it's just kind of coming off the the lingo in everyday life now because there's more and more and more of this in the collective in the collective consciousness for people to to be aware of and for people to implement whether they recognize all of that it's attached to on a on a quantum level on a spiritual level on a um a multi-dimensional multi-universal web of life, yada, yada, yada level or not, there's enough there of the results of working with the energy that gives you the, the proof that this is a thing. But it's elusive. And it's elusive for a lot of people and they they have a hard time. It's like a moving target with manifestation and and abundance and uh, and really bringing your intentions to life, to creating high level timelines. And that is all about our frequency, what we're tapped into, what our beliefs are, how many, what our level of fear is what our free, you know, all of that, how our frequency is, all of that is a direct correlation to the magic, the manifestation, the actual, the, the dream of our reality being mutable, sculpt, sculptable is the way that I see it. We can sculpt this reality to be a certain way for us by our pure, sheer will and intention and direction and um, and how we perceive ourselves in the reality, in the dream, in the inception, in the inception, in the inception of the dream, because each level we understand and work with, the more control we have, just like that movie Inception. That movie was uh, when it came out years ago and then 
um, when I was guided to it again, being an awoken person and seeing what I was being shown there, which was how we can be lucid in our reality. It's not exactly like the movie, but there's enough there to go, okay, there's many parallels here to when we talk about what is reality and what is the, what is our dream state in this reality? While it is real, it's not, I don't want to give the impression that it's any kind of simulation or any kind of program. It is not, it is real, real, but the nature of the way that our reality was created and all dimensions in our creation. So it's not just limited to this world or this dimension or this timeline. It's just the way mother, father, God created um, all of it in this way with, with energy. They, those two divine feminine, divine masculine coming together and cr the creation of that is limitless, boundless, is without any borders of what is possible. If there's intention, it can be created. And we've seen this play out time and time and time again, where people go, wow, I can't believe they did that. Wow, they want to do it. And look at what they did. 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 And it's so, it is magical. It is dreamy. But but the reality seems like it's got these hard edges and it just is what it is. And what comes is what comes and it's random and it doesn't make any sense. And we have no control in it whatsoever. Maybe we control what, how we think and how we feel and how we react, but how we can actually control reality and shape reality. That's bullshit. That doesn't exist because when that is your belief, then that is what dream you're going to experience. This reality can be heaven. This reality can be hell. Abso-fucking-lutely. Either way. And most people believe that whatever they fear, whatever is going on with them is, or in the world, is absolutely, um, I... out of their control and that oh, we got some computer stuff going on here i'm just sorry okay there we go hopefully that wasn't too much of a glitch there um that this reality is like what it is and there are definitely things to be afraid of and and um and things just happen and all of that stuff. And again, if that is your belief, if those are your perceptions, if you continue to feed and loop your stresses and anxieties and judgments and shames and fears and programming of limit, that is what you will experience. But when you clear negative energy, when you heal yourself, when you disconnect from cords, when you start experiencing this magical life that really, really can exist because your frequency raises and that's what you can tune into then, then you start to discover, well, shit. Look at what I can, you know, decide I want or need or want to experience or whatever it is. And then there it goes. It happens. I recognized that for myself several years ago and it freaked the shit out of me. I, I jumped, I leveled up in big bounds very early on that I took a while to get used to. It's like an altitude that you're all of a sudden at this higher altitude and your body and your brain and everything is just going, I don't know how to do life from this point. <laughs> so it takes some time, but I did recognize pretty early on that I had to be really careful about where my thoughts and energy and what was playing, what was part of all of that. And because it would play out, I was, it was wild. Um, and people witnessed me talking, thinking, wanting, and boom, they, things would just show up very, very, very sometimes 
instantly and freakishly, <laughs> magically. And you're like, what the hell is going on? And then I also realized, and in a positive way, but I also realized that my thoughts, my perception, where I would, what I would um, zero in on, whatever that it may be, and however that would play out, I could, that, you know, maybe once upon a time, I could sit and just think of different scenarios of life, you know, with this person, or that person, or this experience, or whatever that it happened to be. And they were just, you know, in my head fantasies, they wouldn't necessarily, they wouldn't play out. But I recognized <laughs> that I would either have prophetic images uh, and visions of what was part of the timeline. And I could see that and that would, you know, make me go in it further. Or I would just be used to thinking like, oh, it could go this way, it could go that. And then things would, um, and not so positive all the time. And even if things were positive, it could be stuff that I would get that I wasn't even ready for. It'd be like fantasy thinking, fantasy talking in my head about certain things or, or certain experiences or levels or what I wanted in the future. And they would show up way sooner than I was prepared for. So I'd be like, oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't know I, oh, I wasn't really ready for this right now. This is happening so much sooner than I thought. I was just thinking about it. I'd be like, well, this is what you, you put the order out and boom, there it was. That was the level of the, the strength of my magnetism and frequency. And there's no judgment when it comes to how the energies, how the quantum field works, your clarity and the way that you can vision and work with energy to have it play out the way you're envisioning it as the lucid dreamer makes it happen. And that happened for me really intensely, really quickly on both sides of the spectrum. And I realized and I was taught, oh, I need to learn a neutrality here to just be more an, a, of an observer and get used to how all this works and play with it in very, very controlled ways. So I can build up this understanding and this muscle of how things work in this lucid dream, being the lucid dreamer. And it's that that's another way we can see spiritually awakening, being awoken. This is not to necessarily wake you up from your sleep or your dream. It's to make you understand that you're in a dream and you can be lucid in the dream instead of asleep in the dream, instead of out of control in the dream. For those of you that have had lucid, lucid dreams versus not lucid dreams, they're very different. And the not lucid dreams are more like what people experience in real life, that things happen the way they happen and you're not controlling it. Where in the lucid dream, you are controlling it. And that is a look at how it can be in your wake state. And that is something that, again, is all put together by the different um, levels and strengths of all of your bodies culminating to the abundance body and what and how that gets activated from by by working with each of the other bodies, healing, clear, clearing, flowing, communicating with. Um, and whatever needs to be done on all of those levels, and it's never done, it continues to, to need to be done um, for sure. But once it starts to, once it activates the abundance body, that that is when it takes your whole life to a whole new level. Because then you can really start getting into alignment with what you're meant to magically, beautifully, dreamily create, working with your soul, being connected to your soul, being constantly fed from a divine perspective from your guides and guardians, your own soul as to what you're meant to create as a lucid dreamer in this dreamy world. And that is pure magic. That is the essence of magic, the essence of alchemy, the essence of 
of being um, fully sovereign and embodied. And the more and more and more and more and more of that you have and you are and and you work with with you with yourself, the stronger these abilities to work in the lucid dream, to create in the lucid dream becomes the reality. And I, I can speak from this, like I said, from experience and my own world, my own abundance body, my own abundance life, abundant life, um, has completely changed and continues to. Um, and uh, just in fact, as I was going, as we're going through the abundant body map and me getting it ready and um, I need to do this podcast, I need to do the spirit walk, I need to finalize the map to put it out to everybody in the program. I'm going through my own upgrades big time. Um, being able to uh, buy a very nice car um, for cash and I'm going to be moving and able to um, pay for months in advance and all of these things that I never could have done before um, being the asleep uh non lucid dreamer in my world, but I, I was guided to take myself to places for myself to see myself in, in, in certain, in a certain way to continue to have faith that I was always guided in a way that was going to be supportive for me for my development and what I meant to do with my life and being comfortable financially um, is huge. The money wound is massive and it was massive in me. And there's still a little bit of it through all of these processes of looking for a new home and talking to landlords and going over, you know, financials and being able, all this stuff. And and the car and the loan and not having to have a financing payment on a car and all of these things. Still, there was these moments, these twinges of old, fearful programming about all of it in different ways that I was made hyper aware of that, look, all that you've done um, got you to this point to be able to do what you're doing now and be in the position to take care of it on your own because the money is there for you and it opens up all these doors and it's going to make it so much easier for you. Um, and the fruits of your labor has all culminated to this because of your faith and yada, 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 as I'm working on the abundance matrix bot or the abundance body, hyperly connected to the abundance matrix and all of this happening at the same time is definitely not a coincidence. It was shown to me um, very, very intensely a couple days ago. Like, what, like, are you like, pay attention to where you're at right now and the work that you're doing with yourself and with your clients in the soul quest program, as you're getting through the energetic body to the abundance body and what is going on in your life and how it's all connected in such a miraculous, marvelous, magical way. And I was just like, oh my God, <laughs> I, can't. I just can't with how absolutely beautiful this has beautifully this has all been designed and played out and that i've been guided in the way that i have through so much to get to this point and to feel what i feel when it comes to this body because it is on a level i have never felt before so to be able to to feel this to have everything happening the way that it's happening for me personally to say to you i have firsthand knowledge of how this works to be the lucid dreamer to understand 
the, the, the mechanisms at play here in this reality when it comes to abundance and manifestation and wishes and dreams and purpose and all that good stuff. It is so magical and so intense and so beautiful. And I have, I feel like I just cr climbed a hundred foot wall and that journey has taken a really, really, really long time. Because I had quite a lot to heal from financially and for the money wound. And it's still not done. It's a very, very, very easily fired up fear-based wound that, like I said, things came up for me to see. And, and it is one of those, one of those things. Um, for some people, not as much. For some people, definitely more so. That's connected to this lifetime and past lifetimes or co-current lifetimes for sure. Um, but um, it is so ultra important to heal the money wound. And of course, that's all part of this body and this map as well. This, the money wound, um, I didn't even know was a thing. I don't, I think that I never even heard of it until I was guided to understand it. Um, and now maybe it's out there more, but the money wound is like the mother wound. It's like, um, it's so, I mean, they can be related, but what I'm saying is, is that the magnitude of the money wound and all the, everything that is attached to that energetically, karmically, archetypally, um, through timelines, through lifetimes, through ancestry, um, money has been used to control, to put people into fear, to uh, do really, really, you know, painful things with that, with that, with the, the magic, the essence of money. And, um, and there's a lot of healing that needs to be done there. I reckon I've been, I, I mean, I could do a whole course on the money wound and the abundance matrix and the abundance body because of the journey that I've had through it to be able to see it from all the different angles that I've been able to see it and process it and take myself through, be guided through, heal through, um, clear, disconnect from, disconnect or connect to, um, and again and again and again to understand it, to feel it, to get it. Uh, it's really, 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 really quite remarkable when it comes to all of that. The abundance matrix, what it is within Gaia, this beautiful crystalline grid of literally crystals. It's her crystalline grid within her body that is able to bring in and hold on and channel the infinite love light energy that comes from Mother, Father, God, that is what our soul is, that is the literal magical essence of creation, the power of creation, of manifestation um, is within us, is within everything. And that's what makes this dreamy reality. That's what makes all the things that have, have magically appeared and are created in our reality. Um, not, it's not to say that it just poofs into reality because it's not like that. It needs to be actually created, but we can easily see all the infinite amount of things that have been created just in this world upon Gaia. Um, and, and things continue to cr be created that are more and more wild and fantastic and magical. Um, and so as you go through, dear participants of the Soul Quest program, this map, it is the longest one, has, and it could have been longer, just so you know, it could have been longer. Um, but as you go through this, this is, I feel, I really think like there's other maps are difficult, the emotional map, the mental map, the physical map, the heart, you know, the energetic map, not the easiest things to, to, to tap into and to get to and to see and to 
you know, make yourself get into and remember. I think that this map is the easiest and the most telling um, kind of culmination when it comes to a lot of other things, a lot of other spaces within the, the other bodies. Um, that's going to give a different perspective on all the others um, and really help you to understand where this is at for you. Because so many people are like, why isn't this happening? Why is this happening? When is that happening? Why do I feel like this? Why can't I get past that? Why does this keep happening? Why hasn't that happened? Like there's all these questions that are tied into all of the bodies back and forth again and again. But when we get to the abundance body, though a lot of that is for, is kind of seen for like shown to us. Um, and I think is really pivotal in us understanding where, where our station is when it comes to um, our positive versus negative charges, our faith our faith charge, our beauty and brilliance, our dreams and divine essence charge versus our fear and judgment and shame and triggers and addictions and traumas and all of that. Um, so with all of that said, I hope you are excited for the abundance body, not only to get through it, to see what's in the map, um, to connect to it more, uh, but really to understand like, oh, this is, this is about my magic. This is about the essence and the energy that I have inside of me all culminated that makes me a powerful creator and manifester. And, and, and I hope that things click in more and more of you here. I'm super excited about this. Like I said, for my own self, my own journey, this has been humongous for me and continues to be. I just got my brand new car this morning. It is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to do a whole separate video on it um, because I didn't want this to be too much about, I didn't want this to be about that at all, but it is part of it because it is what I've manifested and created and and allowed to be co-created for me through faith faith through through the the entire process in ways that i am just um beyond excited about and want to experience more and more and more of of course and teach more people about um through the whole process so I hope that I've inspired you. I hope that I've excited you through my own process and of understanding. I know a lot of people talk about the law of attraction and manifestation, but they don't understand the abundance body and the abundance matrix and how the abundance matrix is to replace the material matrix of fear and control when it comes to lack and lack versus luxury, if you will, of having enough to not having enough to being in stress about your well-being on every level because there's not enough to being more than comfortable and not ever worrying about it and being able to be generous with others. And there's a real difference between the material matrix and the abundance matrix. And for the last uh, four or five years now, the abundance matrix has come online um, more and stronger than ever before, helping to disintegrate the power of the material matrix, which is also connected to illusions, control systems of government and and just how things are run in the world for a certain way for like the status quo to be the way that it is we can see over the last few years things have been really blown out of the water when it's come to that 
more and more people and mechanisms of the world are are shifting to seeing the full picture and making changes in society or with themselves to go different paths than were set before. This is all connected to the abundance matrix, to Gaia bringing in the highest vibe, um, highest frequencies that we can possibly connect to, to see past the illusion, to not be um, you know, pulled in the spiral of fears and triggers and lack and anxiety when it comes to um, money and survival, to see how things can be more mutable, to understand that money is a magical tool that can do so, so, so much that's so wonderful. But so many people are see the negative, painful side of it, and that is used against them. So they won't tap in and be able to use the abundance matrix or to ever activate the abundance body. So the work that we're doing here is extremely important for each and every one of us individually and for the collective as a whole, because the more that we connect with ourselves, our souls, our abundance body and the abundance matrix and matrix and work with Gaia and work with our guides and guardians in those magical ways, the more that essence is going to be filtered into the collective and more people will be activated on that as well. And it will just continue and continue. So thank you for being here. Thank you for being guided to the Soul Quest program. If you're doing it already, I hope you're super excited. If you haven't yet, um, you will have a chance in the near future, of course, to check out the website. And I do suggest if this is something that you want to do for the future to please let us know and you can sign up um, as soon as possible because there is also a cap on how many people I can have in the program at any given time. And it's not a lot. I think probably eight, um, eight is probably going to be the number. So it's, it is going to be something that people are going to have to wait for. So if you're somebody who wants to take it sooner than later, I suggest getting with us and signing up. You can make payments um, as well. Uh, but all the information is on the website, uh, which is infiniteempathtransfigurations.com or just infiniteempath.com. It'll take you right to the website. Go to plans um, or programs and plans and check out the Soul Quest program. It also comes with um, lifetime access to the forum um, to get in there and uh, communicate and collaborate um, as far as when it comes to flushing things out with the Soul Quest program. It's a really great place for our community. Um, so, yes. That's it for now, dear sweet one. I uh, will see you here again, um, if not before the next week's uh, map, which is my true identity. That's a whole other thing as we're, we get close to wrapping up the Soul Quest program. My tr true identity is going to bring together so much for us to help us see where we're at. Um, and this week, the abundance body map is just taking us one step closer to ourselves and our souls. And um, I hope you can see how much I love this. I love this work. I love this experience. I love this dreamland that I find myself living in that only gets better and better and more magical. And I'm so glad you're here with me. So with that said, until next time, dear beautiful soul, I'm Infinity. And thanks again for joining me here at Infinity's Shaman Circle. And I will see you soon. Bye for now. Mwah.